All right. Hello, hello, everyone. Hope you're having an excellent day today. I'm doing pretty good. Today we're doing another store tour live here at Atlanta Brickco. And we've got the light working in the Star Wars section so we can actually see the Lego sets. So we'll be ready to go. It's a nice, quiet afternoon here, a Tuesday here in Georgia. Let's see. Here we got Morgan here. As I say, I don't have a Lego problem. I have a storage problem. Uh, that's, that sounds about right, Morgan. After even a year or two of collecting Lego, you can quickly run out of shelf space, storage space for all those cool Lego sets and figures. Let's see here. T Valkyrie's here. That might work, Morgan. Maybe when I retire. <laughs> there you go, T Valkyrie. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing retirement is probably a, a good time to get into Lego. So. Oh no, we're looking at Nexon Knights already? Ugh, let's keep moving. All right, so for those of us who know the drill, this will seem like uh, an average week, but for those who are new, um, we're doing a store tour, so we walk around the store, check out all the cool stuff that's available, we'll answer questions, and uh, just have a good time. So feel free to drop anything you're looking for in the chat, and I'll do my best to find out if we have it and if it's available. So, Space is my issue. I hear you, Gary. I'm running out of space myself, so... Chris Dodson says, hi, Mark. Good to see you, Chris. Okay, that's the end of the Nexo talk. There you go. I'm having a bad day. Oh, I'm sorry, Lemur Bricks. Well, hopefully your day gets a little better now that you're watching the stream with us. We're here for you. You can do it. Whatever you're going through, you can take care of it. So, my camera is a little wonky here. Let's see. That's a little better. There we go. All righty. Okay, so we're looking at the castle figures here. Daniel went to great lengths to make sure that these are all stocked and ready to go. Oh, Lemurbrick says he's not feeling well. Well, Lemurbrick's take it easy. Uh, have some, some fluids, have a snack, get some rest. Hope you feel better soon. There's some, ooh, there's some original ninja poly bags down there. Those are pretty cool. There's a castle one there too. What's happening, Lego peeps? Good to see you, Michael. Thank you for joining us. We're just walking around doing a store tour. Haven't got any requests yet, but we're only two minutes in, so I'll let you guys think about what you might want to check out. I do know we have a lot of Exoforce right now. Got some great vehicles, and we even have a big Sentai Fortress being worked on in the back. That'll probably be for sale out in the box soon. A lot of Exoforce figures. Oh, friends. We can go look at friends, Lamer Brooks. We'll go check it out. There's the pick a brick table looking a little light, not too bad. Well, there's Joe. Hey, how you doing, Joe? Good. <laughs> yeah, Joe's gonna be heading to New Zealand. When is it? Tomorrow? No! <laughs> Everybody drop the Joe emoji. Hopefully he has a good time in New Zealand. That'll be it between the studs when he gets back, probably. Oh, yeah. If it has anything to do with Lego, we'll make it a between the studs. Hi, Dan. Another Florida bro. Welcome. This is Brad P. Who, who else is from Florida? Dan is from Florida. Hi, from Tampa. Good to see you, Dan. You'll probably be excited to know that we're opening a store in Orlando, which isn't that far away compared to Georgia. So yeah, that's going to be sometime later this spring. Look forward to that. We are very excited about that, if you can imagine. So. We've got a bunch of great friend sets up on the top shelf, as well as some of the smaller sets in here. We've got all the figures of the original Friends series over here. You got Stephanie, Mia, Emma, Andrea, Olivia, and all the other Friends characters. We got some nice built sets. I think I just did a Facebook post about some of these. So. Let's see. Don't forget to drive on the other side of the road, Joe. <laughs> I'll let him know, Morgan. That sounds like something you'd want to remember for sure. Duderbrick says, Hobbit tour in New Zealand? I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. He's talking about Hobbit houses and stuff, so. Morgan, I didn't mean to, lol. There you go, hold on. What, what, did, what did Gary do? <laughs> what uh, sealed vintage Lego Star Wars you have? We got quite a few ex Execute Order shills, 66. Execute Order, I like that name. Um, yeah, we have quite a few Star Wars. We'll go look at that. We got quite a few friends. Pretty much done with that now. Let's see. When Joe gets back from New Zealand, we should have a series of Joe and Daniel build River Den. <laughs> exactly. I think that that's going to be a Joy of Building series with Joe. We'll see how that goes. So. There's Sam Williamson. Good to see you, Sam. 
Do you maybe have some Lego basketball? I wish we did, Dead Johnny, but we can we can check. I don't think we do. Maybe a couple figures? We'll find out. So, Oh, so well, uh, here's a cool older Star Wars set, the Darth Vader bust. It's a very nice set. I'm sure it's pretty expensive because it was kind of hard to find. 169 not too bad. Nice. This box is in really good shape, too. Also, hi, there's Ella. Good to see you, Ella. Any Lego games stuff, like Heroica, for example. We do have a lot of that, Ella. I'll, we'll go look at that next. My aunt and cousin are in New Zealand right now on a cruise. That sounds like a great cruise, simply building bricks. That's pretty fun. Apparently, I summoned Fazoom. There you go, Gary. There you go. Where is Fazoom? Is he here? No, no, not quite. And the Lego, uh, new Lego Friends characters. Uh, we don't have the new characters yet, but um, we will have them soon, I'm sure. We do have a number of the new Friends sets available. Here's another great retired set, as well as the uh, Technic Stormtrooper and Darth Vader and, Bo uh, I almost said Boba Fett, Jango Fett. We've got this Battle Droid Troop Carrier here. It's a great set. It has a Gungan Warrior and like 12 Battle Droids. So your marketing is fantastic. Oh, thank you, execute, execute order. We try our best. So yeah, 220, pretty good price. It is expensive because it's sealed. You can get Battle Droids a lot cheaper separately, but if you want this cool set, this cool vehicle, you gotta pay the premium for a new sealed set like that. Okay, I need a new Autumn figure. There you go. I like all the new Friends characters. I was definitely skeptical like when they first released them, but now I'm excited for them and I'm gonna hopefully collect the entire cast like I have for the first wave. And you, you think, I, I used to not like Friends. I kind of disliked them a little bit, but now I love them. So it's just, I don't know what happened. I guess it happens when you get older. Um, so $80 for this new sealed AAT. This is a very iconic vehicle from the Clone Wars era with droids. And you got <laughs> Jar Jar causing absolute havoc as uh, they seem to be, he seems to be single-handedly taking down the tank by himself. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, we've got a couple of cool sealed Star Wars. OBC update. Not too much news since uh, Chris and Vogan got back uh, last week, but you know we will be bringing more stuff down there very shortly, and uh, hopefully our store fixtures arrive soon too. So, I wonder if Geology Joe will show up. I met him in, down in Disneyland this week, and ironically met down there since he works not far from where I live. There you go. I mean, you gotta visit the big Lego store down there, right? So, isn't there a Lego store near Disney Disneyland? There's one at Disney Springs in uh, Florida. So. There's R. Claxton. Good to see you, man. Thank you for joining us. We've got a number of uh, TIE Fighters right now. i got TIE Fighters, the older versions right here. Oh, R. Claxton's membership updated, so he's been a member for six months. Very cool. Yes, the Disney Springs store is my store. There you go. Yeah, uh, Brad P. is right around the corner from there. So, Yeah, Geology Joe and I met at the Picker Brick Wall in downtown Disney Lego store. There you go. Darth Marcel. Now that would be hilarious. I, I know it's totally possible to get some black robes and you're, you're all set. Oh, oh, oh. So here's some news, guys. I'm excited to show you this. We have restocked all of our clone troopers. Like, pretty much all of them. I think we're out of one Bad Batch character there. But yeah, look at all those Phase 1s, Phase 2s, Special Forces, all of them. They all look great, and they're all super expensive, and I'm sorry, but that LEGO needs to make more so that we can have less high demand for the old ones. But yeah, they look fantastic, though. Super excited. There's Phase 1s down here. You got Stormtroopers restocked as well, and most of those are pretty affordable. They're about $10, sometimes 12 depending on the version. I don't know that much about the Stormtrooper versions. I actually know slightly more about the clones, but not that much. But yeah, some TIE Pilots, Snow Troopers. Very cool figures overall. There's Krennic up there too and some Shore Troopers. Very nice. But yeah, so if any of you are interested in those, they're on our website, atlbrick.com. You can find all the figures and box sets on there, like that used Moss Isley Cantina with the sand red um, sand speeder. That's super cool. Lego seems to hate money when it comes to making more clones. Exactly, Dead Johnny. They, they could make a lot more money if they made a few more battle packs, but they don't seem to want to do it that way. So. There's Nexus to Zack. Hello there. General Kenobi. <coughs> We've got a ghost here. That's a very nice set. Four fifty, dollars not cheap, but it's 20% off. So, you know, I got to factor all those prices in. 
All right, and we were looking at Lego game stuff for Ella, so we'll head over there really quick. Don't forget the Orlando Brick Convention is March 18th, coming up soon. That is coming up soon, Brad P. And both Chris, Ed, and Vogan will all be there with a booth for Atlanta Brick Co. And uh, I'm guessing some of our Orlando friends will be there visiting too. But I'm not going to be there this time. Um, I'm going to be going to a show in Tampa in August. So stay tuned for that. But let's look at Lego game stuff. I think it's right down here. There we go. Okay, so we got some Heroica items here. I do like this. Oh, this is kind of heavy. Wow. Hello, what Atlanta sets do you got? We will check those out in a second. I'll be there Saturday afternoon. There you go, Brad P. So here's a limited edition Heroica pack with a huge map, a bunch of pieces, and like a, a game board. This is pretty rad. I don't think this has the full game, though. I think it's just the, the, the container. That's interesting. Oh, let's see what the comments are saying here. <laughs> Has Daniel been back to see his fig being attacked? I don't think so, Morgan, but we'll double check on that. Did Daniel catch on my <laughs> justice in the Star City? Not yet that I know of, uh, Nexus. We'll have to ask him. We'll go over and ask him personally. Uh, maybe Orlando next year. There you go, Michael. Yeah, we'll, we'll be down there for sure. I'm sure um, there's a very good chance Steve and I will be down there for the grand opening of the Orlando store. So we will uh, probably see you guys there, whoever is able to make it. It will be an exciting time for sure. We will have a lot of stuff in the store opening too. It won't be like a <clears throat> bricks and minifigs. It'll be like a really cool, full of awesome stuff. And awesome people too. That's pretty cool. Heroica, I mean, I might have to get into Heroica. It's got some really cool, kind of like D&D &D vibes. I don't know why they stopped making it. Maybe it wasn't that successful at the time. $50 for a certified complete Waldirk map. So you got Ramsey's Pyramids, a couple of those, Minotaurus, several of those in the back. Pirate Code, Magma Monster. This one has a cool orange base plate. That's very fun for mock building. Robo Champ. That looks a little cursed, but there it is. You got Lego Fusion. That was kind of a strange choice. Ooh, the old <laughs> Ford Junior's Pirates Treasure game. This looks a little cursed. There you go. Yeah, we've got a number of uh, weird board game stuff. I think this is creationary. That's a little bit more doable. It's more hands-on. I also got Chima board game. Hiya, Mark, and hello, everybody. Good to see a Great Awakening team, Denmark. There's Raymond. Good to see you, Raymond. Oh, uh, Gary asks, Mark, what is the latest on your car situation? I am still carless, but I am shopping around. Thankfully, I am uh, have enough funds to get a car, so I will be able to get a nice car once I'm ready. But it's just a matter, you know, like cars and houses and things like that are kind of not, like, they're not as easy to get as they used to be. So I'm still looking around, trying to find the best options. I'm guessing it'll be soon. I'm probably going to take Thursday off and go sh car shopping. So, oh joy. But yes, I'll get some new wheels soon. Hopefully they're pretty nice. So. Have you ever ran into a Mr. Gold? No, I have not. However, I know a couple people who do have Mr. Gold. So one day I'm hoping I can visit them and just see him. I don't even have to own one. I don't think I'd want to own one. But uh, it would be cool to see one in the flesh. I've never seen a Mr. Gold. I don't think we've ever gotten one at the store either. We almost wouldn't want it because it's so hard to authenticate it. So. We are going to Brick Fair, Virginia in August, though. There you go, Michael. Hello, ABC crew from Armorello, Texas. Good to see you, Raymond. I'll be there on the grand opening as long as it's not a Sunday or a Monday. There you go, uh, Brad P. We'll try to avoid those two days. <laughs> Maybe we can have it be like a Friday or Saturday. That sounds like good days. I plan to be at the store opening, fingers crossed. There you go. Chris hinted they were aiming at June 1st or through 3rd. That's Thursday through Saturday. That would be a good time there, Nexus. We'll see if that works out. Isn't there a used car dealer next to the store? Oh, <laughs> yes, there is. But I want to get a slightly newer car. We'll see. We shall see. All the money went to crystals. That's right, Henry. I, unfortunately so. All of my money is in crystals. <laughs> 
And take it out of context, that, that phrase sounds terrible, so we're not going to repeat that. Um, watch the Portland, Oregon video. A lot of logistics to get Legos to your store. Yes, Dan, that was a fun project. It was also a, a bit of an uh, editing project on the video side of things, too. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so Chris and Ed went on this one weekend whirlwind tour of Portland, Oregon to purchase a large amount of Lego sets, most of which unfortunately have already sold over the past few months, that is since uh, last summer and now that, it's, that we've posted it. But uh, it was a great story to tell and we had fun sharing that with you guys. Hopefully you all enjoy that video. The stats have already been really good so far. Thankfully the YouTube algorithm was very kind to us with that one, so. There you go. Let's see, uh, is, there is Brad P, exactly. Any other comments? I'll be at the grand opening. Nothing will stop me. Insert evil laugh. There you go. <laughs> Copy check. It would not be the same without you. Hopefully everyone who wants to make it can make it. Yeah. Mark, do you have any Indiana Jones thuggy guards in your store? Hmm, Nexus, that's a good question. We'll, we'll head over there and see what we got. That Portland haul was insane. Seemed quite stressful, but great haul and awesome video. Thanks, D. Holden. We appreciate that. Yeah, it was an, it was intense, but it, uh, definitely worth it. We were so stuffed with sets for the holidays. It was great. So, let's see if we got any thuggy guards from Indiana Jones back here. They're gonna be back. <gasps> Looks like we do. Hold on. Oh my gosh! So one of them is forty four dollars. And one of them is $14.99, so the one on the, the left is pretty affordable. The one on the right is, is very expensive, and he's cool. He's got that cool face painting, but yeah. There's those two. I think this, uh, this guy down here could also pass as a thuggy guard. He's $11.99. I think he was actually the guy with the sword who Indiana Jones dueled in Cairo. But uh, yeah, another figure that's interesting. Oh, they're not on the website? Well, we'll have to see if we can get them added for you. I don't know if most of the Indiana Jones figures should be on there, but maybe they're not. We are seven and a half hours from Portland. There you go, Michael. You must be towards the West Coast over there. So. Grumpy J will be camping out overnight for the grand opening. I, I wouldn't be that surprised. Uh, I thought I saw one on Friday. There you go, Nexus. Well, we do have one. You might have to uh, email the store about it. I'm sure Joe... Well, actually, excuse me. Joe is going to be leaving, so one of us will take care of it for you. Any crystal sweepers in stock? Well, that would be me, Brickscape. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we'll, we'll see what we got here. I do love my uh, power energy crystals. Crystal sweeper. There's the rock wrecker. You got the magma mech. The crystal king. That's the main drill. And that's the um, Cave Crusher. So no Crystal Sweeper, unfortunately. That's a super cool vehicle, though. Let's see. I have a tow company on standby. No one parks in Brad P. or mine's parking spot. <laughs> I have a true tow company on standby. Oh, dear. Yeah, we'll, we'll work out some parking spots, Grumpy J. Hopefully we can get that. I'll talk to uh, Brett and see if he's got some uh, pull with the parking. Let's see here. Grumpy J and I are hoping Chris will put us to use in helping open the new store. That, I mean, honestly, you guys might be behind the red ribbon helping us open the store, honestly, because you guys are so consistently here joining us on our streams. Sorry I'm late. I was in meetings. No push-ups, please. <laughs> no worries, Johnny Flounder. Malister isn't here yet either, so you're probably going to, uh, you know, get off the hook with this one. He won't uh, have you do, <laughs> do some reps. Let's see. Why is the figure on the website? We'll figure it out for you. Let us know. Get us, send us an email, Nexus. Any ninja stuff? We do have ninja stuff, Henry. We'll look at that. There's Plump Daddy. His message got retracted. Maybe a spelling error. Um, could you show off the castle minifigs you have? We can do that recurring awesome. Let's look at ninja stuff first for Henry. Near Boise, Idaho. Okay, so yeah, that's still closer to the West Coast than we are. Let's see. Uh, Morgan, I'll be there. Night security guard and Brad people take the day shifts. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So we got a ninja blaster. And there's no ninja in this set, so clearly this, this is designed to blast ninjas. That's pretty interesting. You've got the ninja raft over here. I think that's probably what it's called. I don't see the name of it there, but yeah, that's a raft with a ninja on it. Uh, not a ninja set. Is it, oh, there's a ninja boat here. That's pretty cool. $39.99 for the ninja boat with the prince and the two red ninjas. That's pretty cool. 
Mm-hmm. Fright Nights. Um, Fright Nights. Castle Castle. Don't see any more ninja here. There's a few ninja figures down here, though. On opening day in Orlando, will y'all be accepting trade-ins? Absolutely, Seamorris. It will be kind of busy, but yes, we will be accepting trade-ins, of course. That's uh, very uh, fundamental to our, our businesses here. So We love to trade and buy a Lego. So. Uh, any new solo sets? We got one or two, but not too many. We'll check on that in a second. We'll head back over to Star Wars. Here are some of our castle figures we have for sale. There's a number of really cool ones. I especially like the ones in the front row here from the classic castle era. Unfortunately, they're by far the most expensive. They're $30 for a foot soldier, $60, $70, $80, maybe even $90 for knights. They're super cool. You also have foresters. You got dragon knights, crusaders, lion knights, black falcons. And then you got some of the newer era figures down here. You got vikings, trolls, skeletons, dwarves, crown knights. And even the Knights Kingdom 2, which we did a Between the Studs episode on not too long ago. Any new Monkey Kid sets? We'll check. Where were we on comments? I've, I've gotten buried a little bit. I'm going to have to read some solo sets. Check on that. I'm just sure to park across the lot. Far, far away. Exactly. Far from Grumpy J and Brad P. Spots. I see those Indian Jones Temple Guards on the site, but listed as sold out. Looks like we still have at least one more, Mor Morgan. We can put it online for uh, Nexus. And if you want one, we'll see if we can find a second one. Eric, Mark, I hope that turns out to be true. We'll be glad to help. There you go, Brad P. I just bought the Broadsides Brig. Maybe that will summon him. There you go. Congratulations, Henry. That's a good set. Let's see. On opening day, uh, yeah, we'll accept some trade-ins. What do you do? What do you got for space stuff? We'll look for space stuff. We're looking at solo sets now. We got one Molox Land Speeder down here. I think this is new sealed. Let's see what the price is there. $50. That's gone up a little bit, but not terrible. I think it retailed for like 40 30 or 40 I'm not sure. I have to double check, but yeah, that's a good set. Um, let's look and see if we got any other solo stuff. It might be low on solo items. There are some really good sets in the solo line that kind of, I think they got overlooked. There's another Moloch Land Speeder there. And a few more behind that. Let's see. No... Oh, here's another solo set. This is actually a pretty good one from that line. You've got the uh, Imperial AT hauler, which is pretty cool. It's got some really cool figures. Those little, uh, I want to say they're like uh, Planet of the Apes type guys here. you got the little guy with the forearms. you got them. They look very, very chimpanzee-like in the face, so they're pretty cool. The Dryden's Guards. That's a great set. That is 130. So what else are we looking for? Classic Space. We'll check it out. Let's see, where are we on comments? I keep getting buried. There's a lot of stuff. I might have to kind of uh, scroll through these. Will be there? A, will there be a special store opening custom figure? Oh, I don't know about custom figures, but we'll definitely have a custom store opening. Let's check on Monkey Kid sets for Sam Williamson too. We might have only a few of those left right now. And we'll look at space stuff too. Yeah, call the store, Nexus. We can help you. Garrett is standing by to take your order. We got Sandy's speedboat, which is pretty cool. Has the very terrifying spider queen right there. You also got the white dragon horse jet, which is a very cool vehicle. I think that also includes some spider guys right there. The huntsman. Let's see. Imagining Grumpy Jay and Brad P. Senior sitting in the store heckling the employees. <laughs> you never know. They might be behind the counter if they want to. We'll see. We'll figure something out. So. Uh, 500, that's pocket change. Uh-oh. We'll wait for next month's budget. Oh, wait, it's tomorrow. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. Oh, dear. I heard that m &R will be at the opening of the land store. I'm guessing he will be. He's very excited about it, too. He's going to be, I think, slightly involved with some of the stuff going on at the Orlando store since he's going to be living nearby. Uh, let's see. Very cool. I love the classic Castle Knights. Thanks for showing them off. You're welcome, Recurring Awesome. You can get all of those figures on atlbrick.com. So. Alrighty. Monkey Kids. Let's look at Classic Space for Brickscape. See what we got here for Mtron and stuff like that here. 
So we got the Emtron. I don't remember the name of this one. It's it's the bigger ship here. It's the cruiser. It's 180 for this one, but it is in pretty good shape. It's got the magnets, it's got the cargo, it's got two figures. So it's very cool. You got a Spirus saucer here. It is a saucer, but it has forward-facing cockpits. It's not like rounded on the top. So that's pretty cool. That one's $80 for that. You got a Blacktron 1 set up there with the original box. I don't know the price on that one. I'm guessing it's over 100 for that one because of the box. But that one's the uh, very cool, what is it called? The, the Alienator. I love it. The Alienator, yes. Another Blacktron 1 sets right there and there. That one's certified. That one looks like it's sealed for 40 It's pretty cool. And uh, you got some Roboforce back there. You got some Insectoids, some Ice Planet back there. That one's 50 for the Ice Planet. What is the name of that ship? Oh, I used to know. That's really cool. While y'all have any other LEGO YouTubers besides m &R, um, we'll be there. We're a LEGO YouTube channel, not nearly as big as m &R, but um, we'll be there having fun, probably live streaming. And uh, yeah, I don't think, it's probably just m &R ourselves. Me and Steven were LEGO masters, so we'll probably talk about that. Um, but yeah, it'll be fun, it'll be good. Well, just too good to be at the opening. I'm not sure. He is in Florida, if I remember correctly. So he could be if he wanted to. But um, I, I, honestly, if he's not doesn't have anything going on beginning of June, he'll probably be. Or I think it's May or June. We're kind of hoping for. But if he's if he's if he's free when we open, um, he might be there. You never know because it's probably only a few hours drive for him. So there's eighty dollars for another Spirus. There you got a fifty nine ninety nine granite grinder. You got a big um, Mtron ship back there. That one's oh. 340 for that one. That one's really nice. It's very expensive. See, that seems like a great deal for 180 if that one's 340. So, because that one's bigger than that one. I mean, it's probably not complete. It might be missing a piece or two, but man. You got some classic space down there. Looking really good. How much is the Sphinx Secret Surprise set? Oh, we can head over there. That's a good one. I have to take out a second mortgage though. <laughs> Let's see. Recurring Awesome says, "Yeah, I'm excited to finally have a Lego reseller near me. Closest is two hours away in Tampa." There you go, Recurring Awesome. Let's see. I look forward to seeing the Lego YouTubers that will be there. Exactly. Let's see. Florida crew reporting in. Yeah, we got a lot of friends in Florida. I, I am actually from Florida, although I haven't lived there in many years. How many years has it been? 16 years? 17 years? So, yeah. Brick Lore is here. Good afternoon, Brick Lore. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you for joining us. We are finishing our look at the space section. We got plenty of space police. Um, we got some power miners. We got some Mars mission. We got some space stuff here. And some other things, too. I see agents. I see adventurers. A few other things sneaking into here, too. 48 watching and 27 likes. Thumbs up, everyone. Thanks, Morgan. You and you and Gary always got us here. Met Ryan and Holly at the Lego store in Lawrenceville, Georgia, a couple weeks ago before the convention. There you go, Michael. That's awesome. It's very interesting, Johnny. I'm a retired PD myself. There you go. Any belt detectives offices, asked Grumpy J. Um, I don't know. I'll we'll have to go check on that. Let's go look for that. There's Diana. Good to see you, Diana. Thank you for joining us. Let's see. Detectives offices. There's a Assembly Square over there. Right up there. And I'm guessing that's retail. Scooby-Doo sets. We'll go check on that for you, Diana. First, we're looking for a built detectives office. Do we have a built detectives office, Joe? We sold one. I think we had two. Hmm. But we just moved one. Yep. Stuff's moving around these days. I see a bookshop over in the corner over there, too. And an assembly square right there. Do you have a built Avengers Tower, says Bricklord. We can check on that, too. So we're looking for Scooby-Doo, Avengers Tower, and a built detective's office. No detective's office. Okay. There was one kind of hidden. I did just see a set. I didn't realize we had. What's we're that? The new Technic. Oh, yeah, that's good. It's pretty cool. It's a good set. Ruh ro Shaggy. <laughs> this is Michael. I'm originally from Michigan, and it was a county department back back there. There you go. Country department, yeah. How do commissions work, says Metalizer. Oh, well, so go ahead and send us an email if you're interested in having us build something for you. 
Daniel is actually working on a commission Ooh. right now. He's in the back. He doesn't have it right now, but um, he's putting a set up. Yeah, that's that's definitely top secret. But uh, we uh, we we do stuff all the time. It is expensive because you're paying for not only the nicest pieces, but you're also paying for the nicest employees who have lots of things to do. And so it's expensive to have someone build something for you handmade. But uh, yeah, so it is pricey, but it is awesome once it's done. We do, we're, we've gotten pretty good at this, we think. So go ahead and send us an email and we can get you some, you know, rough estimates and then we can refine it further if you're interested. So there is a good set. ATTE Walker 140, not too bad. I'm tempted because I haven't gotten one of these yet and I want to do a set review. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Where were we? Built Avengers Tower. I didn't see any brick lore. You also are looking for Scooby Doo. We'll head over to the back and check and see what we got. So I don't see any built Avengers Tower. I see some Avengers Compound items here. But no Avengers Towers. There's an airport tower from the airport battle. There's Brick Mom VA. Good to see you, Brick Mom VA. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. We sure appreciate it. You have a great looking store. Well, thank you, Dan Smith. We appreciate it. We do like our store. We got a lot of stuff in here. It's kind of full. <laughs> everyone dropping the Daniel emoji. Oh, has Daniel seen his figure in the city? Let me ask him. Daniel! 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 Oh, there you are. <laughs> Have you seen what happened to your figure in the city? Everyone's asking. You may, oh, you haven't seen, oh no. This is happening on live stream. Let's follow Daniel and see what's going on. What nightmare situation is occurring here? Okay, being robbed at gunpoint with a banana. <laughs> Good, right, Looks like you're being assaulted by a minion with a banana. That seems pretty uh, on point. I don't see what happened to Mark. What happened to me? I don't know. I Am I see, gone? You were you were lost over here in the land of Oz for a while. That's right. But I don't see you. Mm. Anyway, yeah. So that. Yeah. How do you feel about that, Daniel? What happened? Well, that's you know we'll see how it plays out. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a threat? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, so Daniel wasn't happy about what happened in the city, but we'll figure out what happens soon. I'm guessing. Oh dear. Oh my. All right, I got to show off all the figures here now that we got it. we're here. There's Morgan with his very beautiful lights. There's Chris McBrecker there, Malastair, some coffee workers. There's Monkey with his guitar. Daniel, Nexus is at Gary. Rick Mom VA, but in the back there. You got Dawson. You got, I think that's Brad P's figure right there. Grumpy is over at the Jersey Mike's. Oh, there I am. I'm, I'm on the picnic table over there. Got BJ's sidekick. I don't know where BJ's figure went. Marcel is hiding back there. Just past Jar Jar. You can see him in the tent over behind this the courthouse. He's in a little bit of trouble with the law right now. Oh, um, I think that's... Whose figure is that? That's Henry the Horses right there. And I think Henry was with us today. Pretty sure this is Brick Lore's figure. Got AZ Dave and his son right here. There's Grumpy Jay's figure, Oscar the Grouch figure, and Dennis. They're at Jersey Mike, so it's fun. Then you got T Valkyrie over here, and I think this is just Josiah is right here. So, yeah, a lot of our friends in the city. Can you make a minifig version of Marcel crossover? We could try. We could try. When will Vancouver Brick Co. open? That's a good question, Brickscape. We uh, we've never been that far north before, but uh, you know. One day, maybe. We'll have to see. Yay, Dennis and I are going for lunch. Exactly, Grumpy J. You are in for it now, Nexus, is T Velker. Yeah, your 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 figure could be in dire straits here soon, Nexus. That's unfortunate. I need to get my sick fig out of there before it's too late. Yeah, I know. He needs to flee the city now. It's it's uh, it's bad. This sounds like Daniel is going to do something premeditated. Oh no. Oh no, you're right. Heart Lake Drama live at ABC. Yeah, exactly. I keep forgetting to email you guys my minifig. No worries, Sam. Let, let me know when you get it to us. We'll uh, we'll do our best to build it and get in the city. Me and Daniel will take care of you. Daniel did, honestly, more of these than I did, I think, at this point. So, I've done a couple of them, though. So. Alrighty. Let's see. 
Is there an Avengers Tower on that top shelf price? We can check here. I don't know if it's built. There's an Avengers Compound right here. That one's 40. This, this uh, tower. Oh, no, 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 no. You're right. You're right, Brick Lord. There's one right here. This one is $39.99 for that one, plus 20% off, so pretty good deal. It's next to the big gold gauntlet, which is pretty cool. Very nice. Alrighty, so no detectives on office. Where are we on comments? We're just completely derailed here now. Can you make a minifig version of Marcel? Yeah, we got that one. Rip Nexus. Yeah, Nexus is in trouble. His figure is. Hey, Mark, you need to make a grumpy J and I t-shirts for United Brick Co. logo on the front and security across the back. And we'll wear it at the store opening. There you go, Brad P. We'll make, I, I'm going to talk to Chris. We'll, we'll see what we could do. That would be amazing. It'd be great. Any more Battle Babies kits coming out? Unfortunately, not right now, D. Holden. We've just been very busy with all sorts of stuff, so we haven't had time to make new kits. But I'm guessing it won't be too much further and we'll be able to bring some more Battle Babies back. Maybe a Battle Baby Arena. <gasps> no, don't eat it. Don't eat it, Joe. You'll turn into... No! So, it's a funny prank at the... Oh, not prank. A story at the, the store is that when Joe eats those chips, he turns into Darth Garth. I wouldn't be surprised if he sh showed up later today and started tormenting us. Alrighty. Have you got books for sale? Lego books? We normally... We used to, but we haven't really had a lot in the past while, so I'll have to check with Chris. Probably not that many. I do know we have a very cool Bionicle set here. We also have the bookshop back there. We got some Indiana Jones sets here. We got the Temple Escape and the uh, Crystal Skull Temple, I believe is what it's called, or something like that. You got the Ferrari over there. You got some Winter Village. Um, let's look at the top shelf over here. One new addition is this Republic Frigate, which is a really good set. So that is an awesome set. You also have the Fairground Mixer. You got the Mill Village Raid, the Motorized Excavator, the Batmobile, which is a great set. It's also pretty expensive at this point. You got the AT-AT, you got the Rebel Snowspeeder, you got the TIE Fighter Collection, the Rebel Blockade Runner. You got the Monorail Accessory Kit and the one behind it too with the Split Track. It's even more expensive, I believe. You got the Winter Village Station. You got the uh, another Winter Village set. I think that's the post office right there. Two post offices. You got the sand crawler right there in a small box. Ooh, we got the Lego House Duck for sale already. That's pretty cool. I want to see the Batman set. We can go look at it. Mi, mi, mi Sung. Mi Sung. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Sorry. Magnum Salyer says, I'm hoping to drive out from Texas to visit all sometime early March. Be expecting a visit from Magnum Sawyer. There you go. I like the name Magnum. That's a pretty cool name. All right. So we've got the 1989 Batmobile set here. It is priced at... What is the price on this? $500. So $500 US dollars, but pretty expensive, but pretty nice. It has been retired for a little while. How much for the Disney train set? Let's go look at that, Seymour. So that's a good question. How much is the yellow submarine? Thanks, Mark. Let's check on that, too. I want Magnum P.I.'s Ferrari. There you go. That would be a great set. Oh, no price now. Oh, no, no, there it is. $189 for the yellow submarine, certified complete, which means it has all the parts, but it has been built before. I do like that Lego house, the wooden duck. That's pretty cool. All right. You've got a Disney train right here. This is a really cool set. Harder to find now. See what prices we've got on it. Six fifty. Woof. I'm hoping they make more Disney sets soon because six fifty is a little pricey, but it's a really cool set. Three, almost three thousand pieces. You got the village here as well. Another very expensive older Minecraft set. Also got the cafe corner, which is an iconic piece of modular architecture. Alrighty, we're. <laughs> It says 38 likes on my counter, so somebody must have dropped a few likes down. But once we get above 40, it'll be bad. How much is the... Oh, we got that one. Almost 40 likes, that's right. Disney Lego Trainers got me back into Lego. There you go, Brad P. That's awesome. 
How dare they drop likes? Well, maybe they just didn't get up their likes yet, because now we're at, four, we're at 42. Yeah, it's too late, too late. All right, all right, guys. We get it. I'm gonna hand this off to Garrett for a second. Here. There you go. Next on Warmer Tom? You can use that little joystick to all move right. the camera. Be right back. Ooh. Been a while since I've used a gimbal. You guys better get ready for this. Oh, beautiful. Stunning. So it's a little small on me. I'm so buff, you know, but it's, uh, it's going straighten it up. I wore black today, so that looks pretty good. Yeah, there it goes. Ooh. It's actually a full size suit of armor. Mark's just that shredded. Exactly. This is an adult size. I'm just so big and, you know, buff. It's, yeah. Exactly. Perfect shirt to wear under with the armor. I mean, uh, that's debatable, Grumpy Jay. It just feels like sacrilege, but my enchanted Nixo armor protecting me from all harm. There we go. 47 likes. Thank you, guys. We sure appreciate it. And you guys are rewarded by my embarrassment. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, fun thing. We did get more keychains. So we have more of these in stock. I do like these DC ones. They're already almost sold out. Got some Flashes and some Jokers and some Batmans. Ninjago looking pretty good. Ooh, look at these ghosts. These are cool. I, I would get one of these. Look at that. That's so cool. It's a classic Lego. I, I might have to get this. It's, it's so bulky, though. Ah, we'll see. No rare wolf bat keychain? Not that I see, Henry. We do have ghosts, but that's about as close as it gets to Classic Castle. Plenty of Star Wars still. Doing that from beyond the chat, exactly. Yes, the, the Steel Submarine is $189.99 with taxes and shipping and all that. You have, then you have failed this Nexus. And for the next 18 minutes, all is right in the world. <laughs> there you go, cheese on top, absolutely. For sure. Oh, here's a cool set that we got in recently. I think most people will enjoy this. You got a Blacktron Cruiser. It's not cheap, it's $60, but boy is it cool. 350 pieces of pure awesome. Got that one super cool Blacktron figure in there, some Blacktron stickers. Love it. Yeah, it's not terribly priced. I have two. I really want a third one, but I'm trying to save money for my car. So here we are with one available for you guys. <laughs> new season of Mando comes out tomorrow. So hopefully new Lego sets. What? Sam, I am so excited for that. Chris, did you know that was out tomorrow? I didn't realize it was tomorrow. It now. snuck up on you, huh? Yeah. I have to wake up early before the morning break. Yeah. And we can tell the whole storyline during the I'm going to have to eat, it, uh, eat breakfast and watch it while I'm getting ready for the morning break because that is yeah. going to be crazy. Hey, I like your t-shirt too. Is that a new design? Thanks, yeah. That looks great on the gray background. That's awesome. So Everyone's dropping the Chris emoji now too. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. All righty. What else we got here? I really enjoyed that Portland Hall video. Oh, thanks, Johnny Flounder. We, we had fun. Chris and Ed had quite the adventure. It was uh, probably the closest schedule they've ever had on one of these trips, and everything worked out okay, barely. So, yeah. Johnny Flounder might be going to pick up collections for us, man. There you go. Yeah, hey, we'll see. That'd be pretty exciting. He'll have to document these if, if yeah. he ends up doing them, so because they make good good content for sure. Yeah. There we go. Thank you, Chris. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Grumpy J, I'll let Chris know about the plans for security at uh, the opening. There you go. Ed had quite the nutritious breakfast. Yes, that was uh, that was the most nutritious chocolate cookie I've ever seen. <laughs> yes, I I'll let him know, Brad P. No worries. We can make shirts for you pretty easy. We got a t-shirt printer. It makes it very convenient. Uh, Lego Star Wars 2002 sets. We can check it out. Also, do you have any, any of the big Ninjago City sets? Good question, Ella. Let's go check here. Let's check on Ninjago City, because that's easy to find. They're really big. And then we'll look for 2002 Star Wars sets here. Oh, Scooby, Harry Potter. Let's do that too, Diana. We, we bypassed those earlier. 
I don't see any Lego Ninjago City stuff. It would be right here, either built or in a box, and I don't see any of it. I do see some Garma Mecha Mans walking around, but no, no uh, Ninjago City right now. It's probably not too much longer before we get some more, though. Those usually cycle through. Extra large shirt, please. We, we'll get you covered. We'll get you covered. Oh, yes. Let's look for Scooby-Doo. I think we don't have any Scooby-Doo right now. We do have a Lone Ranger set right there. There's a troll set that's hiding away back there. That's a cool one. That's a good deal for those uh, big light bulb shaped pieces. You guys should make a Jaws shirt like the movie poster. Oh, that'd be fun, Sam. I know we did a, a Jar Jar post a poster shirt from Jar Jar Banks. Cough, cough, 3XL, I'm a big boy. There you go. Hey, security, you guys are usually pretty big, you know, uh, Grumpy J. So that's, that makes sense. Scooby-Doo, Harry, <laughs> Scooby Harry Potter, there you go. At the end of the movie, they pull Voldemort's <laughs> mask off. It was Draco the whole time. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Oh, man. Well, we've got quite a few Harry Potter sets available right now. Some very nice ones, like this one here. The Shrieking Shack and Whomping Willow. I love that glow-in-the-dark moon piece, too. Super cool. There's another Whomping Willow. A number of built sets in the cases. You got the um, Great Hall. You got the figures. Another Great Hall. Quite a few good stuff. Ooh, that's nice. There's an older X-Wing just hanging out in the middle of Harry Potter. Oh, dear. I wonder why we couldn't fit it in Star Wars. I guess we're just out of Star Wars room for big stuff. Interesting. <laughs> Alrighty, what else we're we looking for? Oh, Star Wars 2002 sets. Let's look for those here. Star Wars is basically space wizards anyway. Exactly. I just mean your frenemy might prevent that, not me. <laughs> so the force really is magic. I mean, yeah, maybe? Let's see, Star Wars 2002 sets. Now, that one isn't 2002, is it? That's a little bit later. Hoping and praying to see some monkey kid. There you go. We did have two Monkey Kid sets that are over there. They're from the slightly earlier waves of them, too, so that's fun. Let's see. None of these are 2002, if I can remember correctly. What is this on year? 2010, much later. This is probably 2012 or 11. This is a great set, though. That's really cool. Let's see. So that might be from 2002, the uh, Desert Skiff. Or it's like earlier, because that's a pretty old logo. Let's see. Don't see the year on that one either. That's another old Star Wars set. That, uh... Moss Isley Cantina. It's pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, there's an old set, the old B Wing. That's probably a 1999, actually. It's pretty cool. Price on that one's $100 for certified complete. It's hiding behind the ATSD. Yeah. There's the Naboo Starfighter. That's a. Oh, Desert Skiff was 2000. There you go. Pretty close. There's the Naboo Starfighter. That's got to be a 99. That's a super cool set, though. Certified complete for $100. Also not a bad deal, considering how cool and old that set is. Very cool. Um, let's see. It's probably about all we've got for that era of sets, though, if I'm thinking correctly. Got some slightly newer ones back there, hiding back there. Nabu Starfighter is uh, 1909. I'm glad you know all these off the top of your head, Morgan. I'm just kind of guessing. Most of these I don't know specifically. Mark, thank you for posting those high quality photos on Instagram of the built sets. It was really helpful. There you go, Brad P. There are more of those coming out soon. It should be out by uh, the next couple days here. 
What's the difference of Lego heads C and B on Bricklink? I have no idea. Bricks assemble. I have to look it up. I'm guessing it has um, closed and blocked studs are usually what they would probably refer to. So a closed stud means it's just a solid, um, you know, there's no hole through the top of the head. A blocked stud represents, means it has a little X mark inside the stud on the head. So I think that's what it means, but I'm not sure. I was planning to attend and give my support where I can. If Daniel has a problem with that, he's got another thing coming. Oh no, Nexus! No, I think Daniel is means it all in good fun as well. So. Any frenemy happening is very much lighthearted. I have a I have brick set to come in front of me, so <laughs> just making myself useful, Mark. Oh, well, there you go. Thanks, Morgan. Holy cow! Look at all those Millennium Falcons on the floor. Yeah, let's go look at those. And safety said, yes, I think that's what it is, Michael. I think you're on the right track there. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, we got five. Oh, 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 oh. Gimbal doing a little jig for us, making us all dizzy. Um, yeah, we got the original Millennium Falcon here. We got the older one right here, one that I remember. You've got some newer versions moving forwards here. I think the newest one is this one here. But yeah, some great sets. They all arrived today, so they'll be put out for sale soon. We don't have a lot of room for them right now, but, you know. Chris shirts, uh, Chris shirts be so good. There you go. Let's see. We need to broker a peace treaty between Nexus and Daniel. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, I'll, I'll get them both in a headlock one day and we'll work it out. Uh, love the OG Falcon, exactly. Pancakes all over the floor, exactly. Hello, I am Alistair. I am chatting with you to see if you are interested in ex extended blue coat warranty. Oh, wow, I have... I used to have that OG Millennium Falcon. Yeah, this is really cool. These will all be 20% off T-Valkyrie. Most of you know that I am a Millennium Falcon freak and have every LEGO Millennium Falcon released in the U.S. except UCS ones, which are too big for my apartment. There you go, Brad P. Grumpy J says, hello, Malister. Brick Jedi is here. Ahoy, hoy. Good to see you, Brick Jedi. We've got eight minutes left on the stream. Just in time to see little Vogi, famous rap, rap star there, working diligently at the, the computer. There's also Garrett here. Gungans. <laughs> Admiring the beauty of the Gungan people. <laughs> in Lego, of course. Um, there will be no peace. I am already providing Daniel with 30 M1A2 tanks. What? Oh, no. Will the 20% off built sale go into March? I'm guessing so, Bricklord, but we'll find out. Light kits. We can go look at light kits, um, Grumpy J. That's a good request. Fantasy era. We've got a few figures um, brick assembled. We can go look at those. Ooh, don't, don't wobble on me. All right. So here's where we have our lighting kits. So there's the Quickie Mart lighting kit that is $47. So that's a lot of lights going on there, but that's a really cool kit. You got the Ecto-1 that looks like the smaller one. That's pretty cool, 37. So these are all the lights you need to set up your mock, and, or, or your set, excuse me. And then they're designed to be put in with the, the set already built. So you can build your set, buy this, put the lights in and it looks great, so. UCS Razor Chris, uh, UCS Razor Crest Light Kit. We might have that one. We'll have to check for you, top shelf nerds. Not yet. Not yet. They haven't made that one for us yet, apparently. So, thanks for the store tour, as always. I usually miss the stream, but I'm glad I caught this one. There you go, recurring awesome. Thanks for joining us. Any weird Spider-Man vehicles in the Marvel section? I love seeing those. They're so goofy. They are Ella. We can go look at those. Whoa. I am posting a quick video to my YouTube channel showing all my Falcons. There you go, Brad P. If anyone's interested in seeing those, go check it out. Okay, I'm glad my many fingers in a nice, quiet, out of the way spot in the city, which is which is about to become a war zone. Yeah, exactly, Morgan. It's pretty bonkers. I'd say there's a cool green Hulk mech. I do like the pieces involved in that. Let's see. There's a Spider-Man. It looks like a all-terrain vehicle with a net launcher in the back. That is so stupid for $14.99. <laughs> We got that one. There's a Captain America mech. So a super soldier needs a mech to protect him. Yep, that's good. Okay. 
I don't understand Marvel sets sometimes. Um, we've got <laughs> a big spider mech down here and a spider jet plane beneath that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very, uh, very on brand for Spider-Man who can swing around all over. Uh, oh, <laughs> a spider helicopter. Look at this. A spider helicopter. $14.99. It is, oh. Oh, dear. How much is a Ghost Rider set? Oh, we can check, see, Morris. Let's see. Do we have any Ghost Rider sets in yet? There's the Watcher. Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider. We might not have any Ghost Riders yet. I'm not sure. This is a bit of a maze of sets. The one easy way would be to check on our website, atlbrick.com, and just type in Ghost Rider in our search bar. It'll let you know what kind of Ghost Rider figures or sets we have, so. Just don't know Daniel is going to put my Sig Fig on a Unikitty. <laughs> that would be an easy retaliation there, um, Nexus. I might, might even suggest that to him. All right. I fight with Team Daniel. Oh, no. I fear that day. I'm surprised they didn't do a spider fire truck. Yeah, exactly. It was in the case. Oh, oh I must have missed it. My bad, Seymour's. Let's, let's see what we got here. Let's see here. Looking, looking. Ghost Rider set, Ghost Rider set. Did it get away from me? Is that a Ghost Rider set? There's a 399 bike down there. I'd be surprised if that was his though, but I guess that might be it. I'm missing the price right now. But yeah, most of these little, oh, top? Gotcha, top, gotcha, Let's see. Ghost Rider, I'm not seeing it here. Maybe it's, I must be blind, I'm not seeing it here. But yeah, Ghost Rider sets are typically pretty affordable. Most of the ones in here are 15 to $20. So unless it's a very special one, it's probably going to be about that price. It's Wood Spider and... All right. Anyway, uh, that's Captain America's 2021 Infinity Saga bike. Yes, there's one right there. And there. That are those. This one here is $11.99, and that might be what you're talking about. But that one's pretty cool. There we go. In the box? Oh, 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 in the box, yes. Uh, thank you, Nexus. Yeah, so that's 110 for that one. It's very cool, but very expensive. It's Wood Spider-Man sprained his straight back. Oh, there you go. My sick fig in the city has refreshments waiting for the show. Exactly. We'll see how crazy it gets in LEGO City as we proceed. Ooh, there's some new Explorian stuff over here. Those are some weird little sets. Got a Lego Forma over here too. Oh, my back. Exactly. Knight's Kingdom, yes. And you also asked about uh, Fantasy Era too there, Bricks Assemble. Got some Fantasy Era Troopers here, $14.99 each. So a little expensive, but pretty cool. Got some Fantasy Era figures from different sets in there, ranging from $8.99, $11.99, any of those prices up there. Knight's Kingdom, we don't have out yet. We have a couple archers over here for $9.99. Need Andrew Garfield to straighten me out exactly. Any Spider-Man figures are always good. Basil the Batlord, good question there, Ella. We do have Basil. He is a whopping $29.99 with his cape. I'm guessing he's more affordable without his cape. And what about Vladek? Vladek is down here. The original one is $14.99. The fancy one from the Wave 3 is $49.99, so he's very expensive. But the original one, not too bad, $15. So. Not cheap, but not too bad. So. I want those orcs. I know the orcs are super cool. 
But we are at 60 minutes here, guys. Thank you so much for all your comments and interaction with the stream. Thank you for tuning in. We sure appreciate it. Don't forget to drop a like on your way out. We sure appreciate all the interaction you can do with our channel. It really helps the algorithm. We'll be back with more videos starting tomorrow morning at 9.30 with our Morning Brick podcast. Not podcast. Morning Brick news show. And uh, so stay tuned for that. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.